Hey guys, it's Bryce Callahan from Pen Action Photography and I wanted to share a little message. With Ginger Gold being cancelled and the mixed emotions, I want to address my opinion and perspective to understand the situation more. To start off, it is not USBC's fault and why Ginger Gold is cancelled, and it's simply the pandemic that caused it. Before writing a bash post or emailing USBC that they suck, which they don't, because the experience was taken away, understand USBC has not told us a major detail that you may not have even realized. We are not considering the fact that USBC is valuing our health and safety over the money that they could be making. Junior Gold is one of the most participated youth tournaments, and it is an event many bowlers such as myself look forward to and train all season long for. I want to include some of the business aspect of things to understand more of what could have been discussed in the USBC conference. Having Junior Gold being one of the most participated events also means that the more entries they have is the more money that USBC gets to make. Think about how much money is generated for even the bowling centers who host this tournament that lasts a full week from sunrise to sunset. The businesses such as hotels are also losing money as long as airline companies, restaurants, and many more. USBC sacrificed one of the biggest paying tournaments for their members and we should respect their decision for that. Bashing USBC only hurts the sport and prevents it from growing. If you want to support bowling, stop complaining about USBC for making the right decisions for our safety and go out and support your local pro shop operator, shake your opponent's hand, and tell your tournament director thank you for hosting the event because sometimes we forget how much time, energy, and dedication it takes just for us bowlers to chase after our dreams. Think about how hard it was for the USBC to make all the calls to cancel the reservations they made with the bowling centers, and then on top of that to make an announcement that would let down most of the youth bowlers who were looking forward to this event. As this is a tough pill to swallow, I was one of the bowlers who was on their last year of bowling and it is hard to accept that I didn't get to know what my last junior gold would be. I want to share a piece of advice to anyone who is still eligible to compete. Just go out there and enjoy bowling. Times like these are prime examples of, you never know when your last day will be. You are never guaranteed that next tournament, and anytime you get the opportunity to compete in a tournament, whether this be bowling, aqua and tumbling, or soccer, or whatever it may be, just go for it. Make the most out of each and every experience. Learn throughout each event, good or bad, and don't ever let yourself have the mindset of, I'm not good enough to compete against so-and-so, because that experience is so much more valuable and you cannot obtain that in a practice session, and it will hurt you more to not participate than to bowl against others. I also want to thank tournament directors in many events such as the SYCs, the Bowl for Lives, the 12 Bagger YBTs, the JBTs, the Tough Shot Tours, and many more for having these experiences for us to chase our goals. I also want to say thank you to the people who are involved in this USBC conference, and I appreciate your hard work and decision making. I hope everyone watching this can have their perspective shift into a better attitude, and let's all keep working together to keep bowling alive.